Hello and welcome to Life Begins at 20. My name is Mark and today we have the Hour of Devastation booster box. Now, I wasn't really going to buy this in the first place because I'm not too excited about the set, but I caved in. We all knew it was going to happen. So I've got my partner with me again because, let's be fair, she opens up all the mythics. They'll be in her packs every single time on the way through. If you didn't see the last video, yeah, she opened up everything. It's fine. I, I didn't get anything. It's all good. So hopefully the same luck will come today. We'll get ourselves hold of Nickel Bolas and any of the other cube cards. So... Let's get stuck into the box. We're just going to go through the uncommons and the rares. The commons you'll see on the screen uh, with the graphic below. If we can get this booster pack open up, it'd be great. <laughs> yeah, the, the commons will be on the bottom of the screen below there. And we'll just go through, you'll see everything up on the screen. But I'd like to hope that everybody's had a good time so far for Hour of Devastation. If you went to any of your drafts last night, do let us know in the comment section below how you got on. And also, you know, if you opened up anything great, again, do let me know in the comment section below. So, Okay, so we have Eternal of Harsh Truths, Nissa's Defeat, Unraveling Mummy, and Chaos Maul. Okay, so thankfully, that means I've got a chance for a Mythic now. <laughs> Last time she started off with uh, Gideon first pack, and yeah, it's just, that's how, that's how it goes. So we're going to start with Jace's defeat, Liliana's defeat, Bloodwater entity, and we've got an abandoned sarcophagus, which is pretty cool for, for cycling and nothing else there. So yeah, again, do let us know in the comment section below if you've opened up anything great, if you've had fun during the drafts. I'm very interested to see how people have got on because obviously the estimated value for this set is pretty pants. Okay, Hashup Oasis, Devotee of Strength, Sunscored Champion, and Ramming Up Excavator. Card we definitely wanted for Cube there. Definitely excited to uh, try that one out. The Crucible Worlds on a body. So yeah, definitely happy with that. And the artwork from the main set is far better than that of... I think it was the game day promo. I'm definitely not very excited about picking that one up. So we've got Valve Manifestation, Resolute Survivors, A Braid is another card I wanted for my cube, so we're doing well there. And we've got Earthshaker Kenra. Again, this, this might do an all right. And we've got ourselves a full art mountain as well. So yeah, the Earthshaker Kenra might do a, a decent enough job. If you wanted to try and have another, you know, exciting aggressive red creature, but that's quite a you know a, a big step to try and get yourself into now at the moment in cube. Okay, Vizier of the True, Riddle Form, Sunset Pyramid, Hour of Revelation. Okay, so, so far, no mythics. The estimated value is absolutely woeful. There we go. These, these packs are definitely harder to get into. I don't know. Okay, let's try the other, other half of this. Stuff. There we go. That's, that was solid. That was solid. All right, so we get through the commons. So we're starting off with, we've got Saving Grace, Chef at Dunes, Doomfall, and we've got Hour of Glory. I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't want that guy telling me what to do in the back there. And for there's nothing else there. So we're doing, not doing very well on foils either here. <laughs> Trying to struggle a little bit. Okay, you can get into your packs a lot easier than I can. He says. Okay, Bane Whip Punisher, A Braid, Crypt of the Eternals, Grind to dust. Yeah, that's a pretty cool card. I mean, again, I'm, I'm not going to go over it too much like I did last time where I basically said I hate the artwork on those split cards. But some of them are actually pretty decent cards. And the aftermath costs are a lot better in this set than they were in the last one. So now we've got Imaginary Threats, June Diviner, Claim to Fame. And we've got Torment of Hellfire. This actually looks quite cool, um, the way the card works. And we've got a Pussycat there as well. So no, so still no foils. No, that card actually seems quite fun to, to use. It gives the opponent, you're going to have to give some uh, make decisions, which is quite nice about this set. So. Okay, so Merciless Eternal, Sifter Worm, Unraveling Mummy, Hour of Promise, okay. and then we are first Desert foil. of the Indomitable. First foil. Woo! <laughs> Exciting foil it is. Okay. So, so far, we've got a couple of cube cards that I'm very interested in trying out, definitely. 
Uh, would you put a link on the screen at the moment card up there for you to see what my top five were from commons, uncommons, and rares. So I've definitely opened up a couple of those. So we've got Jace's Defeat, Quarry Beetle, Crypt of the Eternals, and Endless Sands. Now I couldn't imagine anything worse than the desert that never ends. So you're going with no mythic so far. It's uh, not going so well. But yeah, I'll put a card on the screen now for the top five cube cards from rares, mythics, uncommons, and commons. So you can kind of see what I'm trying to look for here. Okay, so Sun Scores Champion, Supreme Will. That's another cube card there. Appeal to Authority, and Amit Eternal. He's pretty cool. I do like the afflict mechanic as well, where it basically makes the opponent kind of decide whether they actually want to block or not. And if they do block, then they're still going to deal some damage to them and potentially lose their creature. But if they don't block, then you know there's some of them which you can actually get quite a bit of an upside from that as well. So no mythics as of yet. This is uh, maybe they're all at the bottom of the bottom box. Of the yeah. So we've got fervent paincaster, vizier of the atoned. In that's fine. If near deadlands, and we've got the scarab god. That's that's the actual god I was looking for. So first mythic. Oh, it's fine. You'll open all the planes for because it's all good. So we've got our first mythic there, the scarab god, and that's definitely the one I wanted to open up for the cube. He just looks so much fun, just abusing end of the battlefield triggers there. So I'm happy about that. It means. Uh, Yep, you, you can just buy less. That's all we care about now. That's that's, that's why you're here. And obviously an invocation as well. Yeah, I think these packs are definitely harder to open. Than, you use uh, stronger glue this time. Yeah. Well, that's a great comment off the top there. Okay, Razaketh's Right. Magmaroth. Dagger of the Worthy. Ronus's Last Stand. Okay, so the last stand cards are actually quite cool. I mean, you have to exert your lands to, uh, is the downside of them, and that's kind of put, puts me off a little bit. I mean, later on in the game, it'd be fine, but early on in the game, I don't really feel like um, losing a turn after for them. So we've got ourselves Inferno Jet, if we can focus. There we go. Devotee of Strength, Chef at Dunes, and we've got a Ketra's Last Memory there. I mean, it, it's all right card, but again, there's nothing too exciting. We've got the little insect tokens. Maybe we can get ourselves that god as well. That'd be quite nice. Definitely stronger glue on these packs. There we go. There we go. We need to give them names as well. Oh, that's so true, because our local gaming store decides to... Uh, Name each of the people on the packs in a very special way. Okay, so Saving Grace, Liana's Defeat, Farm to Market, Bontu's Last Reckoning, and Sunscore Champion Foil. Well, it still looks pretty cool in foil. I mean, again, Bontu's Last Reckoning is probably one of the best ones out of the lot for the actual. Um, I mean, it's a three mana board wipe, which is pretty nice. Um, I mean, yes, you have to. Untap, yeah, you know, keep your lands tapped. But if you can do it later on in the game, that'd be quite, it'll be fine. So we've got Desert's Hold, Fervent Paincaster, Struggle to Survive, and we've got the Scorpion God now. So it seems I'm opening all the mythics, which is something's wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to have been that I like the Locust God, but the Scorpion God's pretty cool. I mean, these guys are just going to be great for Commander, absolutely great for Commander. It's fine, you're opening Nick and Bollas, that's all that matters. But that's, that's how this works. Okay, so Angel of the God Pharaoh, Accursed Horde, Raminap Ruins, Champion of Wits. Okay. Then Hour of Glory. So you, got, you got your foil rare. You got the foil rare. That, that's there's something. She's not looking very impressed at this moment in time. <laughs> it's like that awful um, booster box from. Oh, it was the modern Kaladesh. The, Kal the Kaladesh, Kaladesh one was awful. So we've, on the back there, we've got ourselves, if it focuses, we've got you know a nice little promo bit there for uh, Ixalan. I mean, well, we already know what half the Blooming cards are for that anyway, so hey-ho. Uh, so we've got Burning Fist Minotaurs, another card that I'm actually quite excited to give a try and keep. Overcome, If Near Deadlands, and we've got Leave to Chance. Yeah. We're back on the uh, the not exciting trail again now. I think we're probably halfway through the pack. I mean, I've got a fat pack left to open as well still, so that should be exciting enough. I hope we can get an invocation there. Okay, so Sinuous Striker, Desert's Hold, Consigned to Oblivion, 
Jerry with eyes open. Okay, well, that's quite nice because you get to search yourself for a planeswalker and it helps you, it, it kind of protects them a little bit as far as I'm aware. But again, there's just, there's, there's nothing in this entire set really apart from the gods that is actually worth very much at all, which is a bit of a shame. But it's probably great for people actually trying to build decks for standard and so on. So we've got Riddle Form, Nissa's Defeat, Dunes of the Dead, and uh, Solemnity. So this is another card that's uh, been talked about quite widely for Commander. It's, it, you know, players can't get counters, and counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. So people have seen lots and lots of different ways to be able to break that. I do like the forest as well. But yeah, that, that's that's definitely a good card to have opened there. It's quite sad when, you know, you get normal rares are more expensive than a few of the mythics. Making a little bit of a mess now with all those packs. Okay, Dune Diviner, Steward of Solidarity, Claim to Fame, Imminent Doom. Ooh, that card is so bad. It was fine. And a shiny vile manifestation. Yeah, it looks cool in foil. But yeah, that 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 card's just bad. That Imminent Doom card is just bad. You need quite a, you need quite a lot of stuff to happen for it to activate properly. Um, okay, so got ourselves Quarry Beetle, Chandra's Defeat, Resolute Survivors, and Chaos More. Oh, this looks actually quite cool. The Plains and Earthshaker Kenra token. So, I mean, the good thing about again with the fat packs as well is that you actually get all of the um, the tokens for the entire set, which is something they've done for this one, which is actually quite nice considering how many tokens there are available, especially with like. Um, the eternalized costs. Okay, Hope Tender, Torment of Scarabs, Deans of the Dead, Pride Sorrow. Hooray, the kitty cat. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to try and make a cat deck for sure. This is going to be a deck that actually works this time. For yeah, me. yeah. The cat deck will work, unlike the uh, werewolves deck. The werewolves deck. We had three Arling cords, but I don't think that kind of Helped. made it good enough. Okay, so if it focuses. I'm having a really bad time focusing at the moment. Uh, so we've got Manticore Eternal, Farm to Market, Oblis Spider, which is another card I actually quite like the look of, and Scavenger Grounds. So yeah, yeah as you can tell, I'm very excited by these cards. <laughs> so probably about two thirds of the way through now. We can't, still can't get into any of the packs, but it's fine. There we go. Okay. Angel of the God Pharaoh. Overcome. River Hoopo. Fraying Sanity. That actually looks quite a cool card. I mean, for, for a mill deck, that'd be quite fun. I mean, the River Hoopo is quite, quite amusing. It's, a, it's the, probably the cutest card from the entire set. I mean, it's not... It's, yeah, I'm, I, you know, it's, it's a struggle when you're saying that's the cutest card from the set, but... You know, it's not. Um... No, it's just, it's. Oh, I can't even remember what the card is now from um, Eldritch Moon. It's Gifts Ungiven. Is that right? No. It's the one with the little pussy little cat, cat thing. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. So we've got un unconventional tactics, eternal harsh truce. Again, this looks quite fun, especially with your flip mechanic there. Dagger of the Worthy and Angel of Condemnation. I do really like this uh, in terms of for the blink mechanic and cube. It might be a little bit slow, but it could, it could be great fun. So we just have to see how that goes. And I really can't remember what that card's called. I swear it's Gifts Ungiven. Something to do with sacrifice. Sure of it. It's, oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try and remember what it is because I wanted the play map for it. So while my partner is attempting to open the pack, the Nicol Bolas pass packages are worse to open than. I don't know. It was, it, was, it was Samet last time, wasn't it? No, oh, no, it wasn't gifts I'm given. What am I talking I about? Tell you, it wasn't gifts I'm given. Mm. Fine, we'll get there. See if I can get there before you open up all the cards. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Sinuous Striker, Razaketh's Right, Appeal to Authority, Apocalypse Demon. Mm, sounds pretty cool. And then a, a shiny gilded Ceridon. Mm, it's quite, quite, quite cool in shiny. Uh, nearly at the card. I'm nearly at the card. 
Near the card. <laughs> oh, this is bugging me. Harmless offering. Mm. There we oh, go. Do sacrifice either. Well, yeah, so we were, we were both wrong. I'll put it up on the screen. The uh, harmless offerings. The uh, the card we were both thinking of, but very badly. Uh, okay. We could do with a third mythic. Uh, we could do with Bolas. That'd be quite nice. So Sand Strangler, Gideon's Defeat, Ipnu Rivlet, and God Pharaoh's Gift. Okay. And a cat. Because cats. Oh dear. We've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're, 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 under, we're under a third left now. I think we'll be very glad when the opening kind of stops because I'm sure Helen's fingers are now hurting. Uh. Okay. Chandra's Defeat. Tenacious Hunter. Crook of Condemnation. And Raminap Hydra. Wow. I'm trying to get excited about these cards. I am. I'm not sure how you're going to label this video. Uh, it gets better at the end, hopefully. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm hoping for. Or we can't open packs properly. Or how not to open a booster box. That might work. So you've got Sand Strangler. Supreme Wells, another card I quite like. Consigned to Oblivion. And Jerry with eyes open. God blimey. This is very underwhelming. It's okay because the invocation's in that one there, and then you know that nickel bolus is in there, so it's fine. Okay, Doomfall, Vizier of the Anointed, Haship Oasis, Nimble Obstructionist. Okay, so another cube card. That's alright. And you got a foil cat for your cat deck. Yeah, exciting cat. Well, I think we've nearly got all the key cards. I think it's just literally Bolas that was after now. I think we've got the rest of them. So that would be nice. I, I, I'll happily give up opening up an invocation for him. So Steward of Solidarity, Tenacious Hunter, Ipnu Rivulet, and Swarm Intelligence. I mean, wow. Um. I'm, I'm very glad that I only have a fat pack left to open and I didn't buy like all of the products this time. Okay, Sifter Worm, Unconventional Tactics, Sunset Pyramid, Hazaret's and Dying Fury. Okay. Yeah. We have three packs left, and I'll go with that one. We haven't even opened the Hour of Devastation either. That would be, be quite nice to get. Partner is currently eeny, meeny, miny, mowing to try and decide which pack she wants to open. I do like the artwork on, on this card. I mean, it doesn't necessarily fit with the rest of the set, but I just like the artwork on it. It looks pretty cool. So, Ominous Sphinx, Inferno Jet, Obelisk Spider, and we've got the Locust Guard. So, I've opened all three Mythics, and that makes me feel quite bad, actually. But yeah, the Locust Guard's pretty cool. I mean, draw a card, create a flying insect with haste is pretty cool, and it also can do itself... But it's just the fact that, you know, they just keep going back to your hand even if they get killed, unless they get exiled. It's just really strong, and that would be great for Commander. It's okay, you've got the invocation. This is how this works now. He, okay. He says. Ominous Sphinx. Bane Whip Punisher. Magmaroth. Hostile Desert. Oh, that's a disappointment and a half. A foil, non-full art forest. I mean, you've opened up all the foils... So last pack of this truly riveting box. Um, yeah, I was like, yeah. So it's only Bolas and really get really want here, but he's just gonna have to turn up in the fat pack. So Vizier of the True, Riddle Form, Sunset Pyramid, and Hour of Promise. Woo. <laughs> So there we have not the most exciting packs in the world, but to be perfectly honest, I don't think that they actually exist from this set. As explained beforehand, it's not the most exciting one in the world, and the value of it is just really poor. But we have got three of the gods, so that's pretty cool for Commander. I mean, the Scarab God I do want to try out in cube, because I reckon that would be great fun. We've also picked up a few other cube cards, so the Ramanat Excavator, definitely going straight in. Angel will definitely be trying out. I mean, Solemnity is pretty cool as well. Uh, we've also got the Nimble Obstructionist there. We've got a few of the other ones like a Braid and Supreme Well within the actual uh, openings as well in the Uncommons and Commons. So there is a f definitely a few cards there. But again, 
because the value of this set is so low, I definitely would recommend you to just buy the singles or use the packs to draft with and not open like this unless you know, you've know you got some money to burn. But hopefully Nickel Bolas will be in the fat pack I've got left to open. I would just like to take this moment to thank my Patreons of the channel. I can't thank you enough for the help and support that you're giving me. If you'd like to do the same, head over to patreon.com forward slash lifebegins at 20, and there'll be a link in the description below for that as well, where there are plenty of rewards to choose from. With your support, we can really push to make this channel even better. Be sure to check out our sponsor, 5 for a great range of Magic the Gathering accessories with stunning artwork, plus a great app to draft and create decks on the fly. Use the referral code LIFEBEGINS20 for 5% off. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. With your support, we can really help this channel to grow. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.